A lot of you will be able to join me this morning. I'm super excited to be back crafting with you. I know I've been missing in action a little bit, but I had a little bit of R&R. &R. I went away to a craft retreat um, so that I could be a person that would be just like an attendee at a craft retreat, which was super, super fun. I spent some time with some of my team members, which was awesome. Uh, so please let me know that you're here. Come on, say hello. Uh, let me know where you're watching from. And I hope you're going to have fun with this crafting session this morning. I'm going to get a little bit messy this morning. I'm going to be playing with um, some different types of mediums this morning and uh, having a great time. Hey, Jenny, how are you going? I can see you all popping on there now. So welcome, everybody. And um, I'm so glad to be back stamping with you again. So um, good morning. My name is Donna Gray and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. And I do all things to do with paper craft. Um, I've been a little bit uh, distracted this morning because I'm, I'm going to have a little bit of a go at something a little bit of a different type of crafting. I'll share some pictures on my Facebook page when I actually get to do it. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Um, so I just thought I would have a little bit of a play this morning. So I'm actually going to have some fun with some of our masks that we have. So our stencils, and I'm also going to have, um, some, um, fun using, I'm just trying to see how come I can't scroll my, um, there. Okay. Um, so I'm also going to have some fun with some of our embossing paste. Um, and we're just going to have a little bit of a, a, a play around. Hello and welcome. I can see quite a few of you, a few of you are jumping on now. So I just want to catch up on a little bit of news that's happening with Stampin' Up! before we get started and then we'll get into the crafting content. So um, first of all, as I said, my name is Donna Gray and I'm a Stamping Up! demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I sell all things to do with paper crafting from cardstock, ink, stamps, um, embellishments, beautiful patterned paper, absolutely everything that that you would need for your paper crafting habit. I am um, a card maker um, at heart. That is the, the one main thing that I actually do with my crafting. But I have delved into quite a few different areas with my crafting over the years. All right. So um, let's just um, show you a little bit about what's going on at the moment. So at the moment, we have a designer series paper sale going on at the moment. So if you absolutely love designer series paper and you are um, a scrapbooker and um, <laughs> Felicity is saying, good morning, Donna. I hope the rest with my feet up was great. I posted a picture last night with the fire going and my cat Theo on my lap and I was resting back in my recliner with the, the warmth of the fire. It was absolutely um, beautiful. So, um, and Felicity saying, I hope you enjoyed your rest with your feet up. She didn't think that I put my feet up very often, which I do. Um, but yeah, I had a great, a lovely night sitting there um, with Theo on my lap. He was enjoying the warmth of the fire as well. Who out there, who's got cold temperatures where you are? Type in what, what you think the temperatures were. I know that um, one of my friends, um, Fiona Carson from over in New Zealand, was supposed to get to one degree overnight. Um, and, yes, it was a bit chilly here tonight. It's beautiful this morning, nice and sunny. All right, paper sale ends on the 2nd of August. So if you want to get some designer series paper, by all means, jump onto my online store and you'll see there um, down on the bottom of the screen, you'll see uh, just to, how to log on to my website and the monthly host code. The other thing is, if you absolutely love stamping up products and you would like an opportunity to be able to earn free products, you may want to think about holding a craft party. So a craft party is getting together with some awesome friends and having a great crafty time and um, making a couple of cards, seeing the products in action. And um, if you have some orders that... Uh, collate together and you get over $250 worth of orders, you can earn some free items. So um, I would love to hold a Stampin' Up! craft party with 
any of your friends if that's what you would like to do. Um, but so please, by all means, contact me at stampingwithdonnag.com. Um, just hit the contact button and we can organise a time and a date. I can do them virtually through a Facebook group or a Zoom call, or I could also do them in person if you're around the Northern Rivers area or um, close to the area that I'm able to travel to. Okay. I do have my BOGO sale at the moment going on. So my BOGO sale has been up on my Facebook page. Um, by all means, go over there and check out what I have. Anything that is not sold after this weekend, I will then be listing onto my website, but same format. Um, if there's things that you want to purchase, you look at the BOGO sale, you say what you want to purchase in the BOGO sale, what the total of that order comes to of the retired products. You then place an order to cover that cost on my online store and you get brand new product and I will send you the retired products for free. So that's how it works. It's a really good deal. I know a lot of people look and go, but you haven't got them reduced. They're really, um, they're still at full price. They're still at full price because you're going to get brand new stock um, for the total value of what your retired items come to. And all you pay is the postage to get sent out. Now, please, I apologize to all of the people that have put sold on things that I haven't contacted yet. I've just had a flat out week since I've got home. I was away for three days or four days. And then since I've got home, I've been absolutely under the pump trying to get back on top of things. So I will get to messaging you next week um, and let you know what your total of your BOGO sale has come to um, and give you the next steps of how you order online with me uh, to cover the cost. And then um, all you pay is the postage to get your free um, BOGO items sent out. So it's a really, really good day. It's called buy one, get one free. So that's how it works. Okay, monthly stamps club for this month is the tidings and trimming. So I decided to do a Christmas in July. Um, and um, and it is um, absolutely wonderful. Uh, Jen, I haven't actually seen any emails this morning. I've been busy trying to get organized for my live. So I will check my emails. It's okay, under control. Uh, monthly stamps club is $50 per month and for that you get the stamp set, you get a card kit to make six cards and a video tutorial showing you step by step how to make those six cards. So if you do the basic stamps club, everything will be die cut for you. The only thing that you need to do is use your own inks and stamp and assemble the cards using the step by step video. Uh, if you are interested in doing the stamps club but you like to always purchase things in the bundles, I always add the optional up upgrade every month. So the optional upgrade for the tidings and trimmings is $85 you pay and you will get the bundle. You'll get the stamp set, the dies, the card kit and the video tutorial. So it's a great way of getting inspiration to your doorstep. It all gets posted out to you straight directly to your doorstep. So if you're in lockdown at the moment and um, you want to get a bit of craft on, I suggest my monthly stamps club joining my stamps club. Um, the tidings of trimmings is closed now, but I will be having a new one. Um, we will make the decision early next month what the next one is for um, August. So if you want to get in on stamps club, please feel free to, to join my stamps club. Okay, so I do have my two-day craft retreat, um, my Christmas craft retreat. Now, they're going to be held in October and November. I have a couple of vacancies left for the October, the 30th and 31st of October, and I have a couple of vacancies left for, I think it's the 6th and 7th of November, whatever the next weekend is, and that is it. I have unlimited spots for retreat in a box. If you want to purchase or um, or confirm your spot at my retreat in person, please, by all means, go to stampingwithdonnag.com, click on the we weekend retreat button, and you will find the link there to be able to register and purchase your online retreat in a box or um, your retreat in person. So please, um, um, it's really important if you want to, I don't want you to miss out on it. I know it's not until October and November, but I'm taking the bookings now. And once it's booked out, it is booked out. There will be no more spots available, all right? So we have that. And 
starting as of next month we have the brand new mini catalog that has been live to us as demonstrators for all of this month and starting on the 3rd of august we will have a joining special so the joining special will be you normally get to choose 235 dollars worth of product and you only pay 169 dollars. it is the best deal in the book and if you just want to be a happy shopper and get a discount by all means i would love to invite you into my wild heart crafters team we are an awesome bunch of women all all over Australia and I invite men too if any men want to join as well I'm happy if you're a, a male crafter and you'd want to join my team I would be happy to have some males in my team as well um, so you get to choose $235 worth of product and you get to pay $169 and that's delivered to your door freight free flat out cost $169 and then you are guaranteed a discount until the end of January, no matter what, until the end of January, 20% discount off all your crafting supplies. So um, it's a it's always an awesome deal. The starter kit is always an awesome deal. You do not have to hold classes. You do not have to demonstrate the products. You do not have to do videos. You can wholly and solely join just to get a discount um, on your crafting supplies. But as an added bonus during August and September, Stampin' Up! are sweetening the deal that we get a free bundle of your choice. So a free bundle of your choice is absolutely um, a good bargain to be able to choose a free bundle on top of your $235 worth of product and you still only pay $169. So um, if you're interested and if you've been sitting on the fence and you, you aren't sure whether you want to join Stampin' Up! or not, or but honestly, I always say to people, there's two ways to shop. You can purchase full price and pay full retail price, or you can join and get a 20% discount. And that's just the two ways of shopping, like two different ways of shopping. But by joining, you get a 20% discount, plus you get to be a part of our crafty community. And um, we all get in contact with each other over the internet, through Zoom calls and through team meetings and live streaming into our Facebook group. So it's a really, really great crafty community to be uh, a part of. And you get to make awesome friends all the way along the road. All right, so what I'm actually going to use this morning is, I thought I might use the Frosted Gingerbread Sweet, which we have a few things that go with this Gingerbread Sweet. So first of all, we have um, the Memories and More Cards and Envelopes. So these are awesome to be able to use. So I'm going to play around a little bit with those this morning. So we get Cards and Envelopes, um, we also get all of these beautiful cards. You've got gorgeous, um, they're baking trays, I think. That's what someone said that they reckon they are. I'm not sure, but um, you get these gorgeous, they're um, sort of a, a oh, like a metally color on one side and white on the other. Um, and you get all of these awesome cards that we can make some really, really great Christmas cards with. So I'm going to show you how we can make some really good qu quick Christmas cards using these Memories and More cards um, and envelopes. And we also have some gorgeous designer series paper that goes with this suite. So I'm just going to grab out the paper and show you what the paper looks like. So it's the traditional green and red and your crumb cake and white colouring. So you can see it just reminds you of all of that um, frosted um, icing on biscuits and things. So absolutely awesome. We also have the frosted gingerbread stamp set. And we have the matching dies that match it. Now, these dies are gorgeous. Can you see that? Absolutely beautiful. It is beautiful, fun paper, isn't it? Hey, Davida, how are you? Long time no see. Um, it's the only Christmas set you will get this time, Jen. I know. It's absolutely gorgeous. It also has... The little pretty pillow box dies, which I actually showed. I got these as being a Stampin' Up! incentive trip earner. So I already had these dies. So um, they make a cute little pillow box, which I've done before. And it's got these gorgeous um, stencils or masks, whatever you would like to call them. So they've got great patterns here. So we're going to play around a little bit with this. So we've got snowflakes. We've got beautiful stripes, diagonal stripes. We've got this cute, it looks like icing. 
um, and we've got the cute little diamond dots. All right, so I'm going to play around with those masks this morning and get a little bit messy with some embossing paste. And I'm going to, um, we also have, sorry, I, everything else that comes in this week, we've got these cute little embellishments. And so they're the little um, like peppermint treat embellishments, which are super cute in real red and our basic white. And then it has this gorgeous ribbon that goes with it as well. Now you may remember we had this in the um, Daffodil Delight ribbon. It's the gorgeous ruched ribbon. So it's absolutely beautiful ribbon and it's in real red. I'm nearly positive it's real red. Um, did it tell me that it's real red? Yes, real red ribbon. All right. So what I did was before I started, before I jumped on, I just cut some card bases and some layers. So I've got um, basic white, I've got real red, and I've got crumb cake. And I've cut front layers and insert layers just to make it a little bit quicker so that we can do a bit of crafting. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you how we can quickly make some cards just using the um, memories and more cards and envelopes. And then we will move on to some more in-depth things using those masks and um, embossing paste. All right, so you can see we've got these gorgeous card bases. Okay, so I'm just going to make a couple of cards this morning using these just to show you how quick and easy these are. Now, if you're brand new to crafting, this could be a way to start off is by just using these Memories and More cards and envelopes to make some quick Christmas cards. Um, and then you can move on to some more in-depth things. So they're white on the inside and they've got that beautiful um, sort of splattered look on the outside and you've got that gorgeous um, framework in the middle. All right, so we're going to fold those ready to go and we've got a couple of envelopes which are super cute to go with it to match. All right, so let's see what we have in these cards of what we can use. So first of all, I think I'm going to, oh, and these ones I've got silver and a black colour. So we've got a couple of them. So we might use that maybe. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have Christmas tree. I want something that's got a bit of a sentiment saying on it. Okay, stripes. This one here, I like this. Okay, so we've got sugar and spice and everything nice. Um, made with love. What else have we got? Oh, it's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. That looks cute. Okay, so this is how quick and easy this is. Pick out a couple of cards that look like that. Now, um, I think what I want to do, let me see how big that is behind. Okay. So here. We could even just do that and a little bit of ribbon. Okay. So that's looking quite easy that we can do that. A bit of ribbon on here as well. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some of my Seal Plus. Now, I use Seal Plus quite often because it is... Um, a very strong hold glue and I actually feel like it's actually easier to control um, than our seal but it's total personal preference so I'm just going to pop some seal plus down on there and then I'm going to straddle that at an angle okay just like that Um, Jan said, I'm glad you're doing this, Donna. I get so lost for ideas with these types of cards. And honestly, it's just playing around a little bit with them. So I'm going to rough up the edge of this one because I think I would like that to look a little bit roughed up. So just with the blade of my scissors, I've really been getting into this. You can actually get distressing tools that will do this. Um, but I've been getting into this and I'm just using this edge of my blade of my scissors. 
Okay, and it just roughs them up a little bit. Okay, so you can see there, it's given it a little bit of a, a hint of um, that grungy sort of look. All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm also going to... Now, I think I'm just going to pop a ribbon on in the corner. I need some dimensionals on behind there. Let's grab a pack of dimensionals. Okay, so I'll just pop that up onto a couple of dimensionals. Now, um, this is if I was just starting out or if I wanted to make some really quick. Um, Christmas cards this is a fantastic way of doing it so I'm just going to create a cute little bow in my ruched ribbon just to go on the corner here trim that off with my scissors hello everybody welcome for the people that are just joining, we're just using the cute little memories and more cards in um, the gingerbread suite. And they are called, um, what have we got? They are called the gingerbread and peppermint memories and more cards and envelopes and the gingerbread and peppermint memories and more card pack. All right. So I'm just going to glue that ribbon on just down there. And then with these cute little embellishments, I'm just going to grab some glue dots and I'm just going to, um, where is my take your pick tool? I've been cleaning up my craft room and I've got things from one end of the place to the other. Ah, there's one. Oh, and it's not the one I wanted. Seriously, anyway, I'll um, I'll pick these up and pop them into ah pop them into my glue dots. I'm missing my take your pick tool. That that I'm going to use the red ones. I think the most that one. Okay, and I'm just going to pop a couple of these around just to embellish. A little bit more. Okay, now you can see there a super quick, easy card just by using a couple of the embellishments and then pop it into an envelope and you've got a gorgeous, quick, easy card. Okay, so this one here, uh, where was the other card that I had that I was going to use? Oh, under here. Okay, so I'm actually going to change this one up a little bit. I'm going to probably cut it down a little bit. So I'm just going to bring in my paper trimmer. And I'm just going to cut an eighth of an inch off both sides, so there, and an eighth of an inch off there. And I'm going to cut, I'm thinking, a quarter of an inch off the top and a quarter of an inch off the bottom. Yep. A quarter of an inch off there and a quarter of an inch off there. So I've just cut it down to make it a little bit smaller so that we're going to be able to see a little bit more in behind here. And I'm probably going to grab one of my real red layers that I have. And even these pieces, we can keep these pieces because we may be able to use them as 
a bit of an embellishment on our card as well. So I've got a real red layer here. Let me see. Okay. So I'm just going to cut that real red layer to um, outline this piece here. So we need to see what size we've got that at. We've got that at two and three quarters. So we're going to cut this one at, uh, what have we got here? Two and three quarters by three and a half. So we're going to do three and five eighths by two and seven eighths. And that's going to give us just a little bit of a border all the way around like that okay and with this I'm actually going to pop up that onto that layer with some dimensionals I know, Lynn. Lynn's saying I think you need about half a dozen take your pick tools. I have no idea. We had them the other day working and I have no idea what I've actually done with them. I've got all I've got is my brush tip one. I haven't got my putty tip end and I really wanted the putty tip end. But anyway, <laughs> it will come up somewhere. I mean, all of this side of my room is totally neat and tidy. All of that side of my room is not so tidy. <laughs> So it's probably in amongst things there somewhere. I did have to clean up to work yesterday, so I had to I had to clean everything up and pack everything up. And then we packed everything back down because we did Stamps Club yesterday afternoon, all the kits. So we've got that. So we've got our gorgeous border. And then I think I'm still going to... I think I'm still going to add... I might even do it that way. What about that? that and that and I'm going to do a bit of a ribbon around here so I'm going to pop that silver bit in behind this time do we want to do silver or do we want to do white let me know silver or white type into the comments silver or right white I'll pop my ribbon around this one while we're working out whether we want silver or white so I'm just going to pop a bit of ribbon around that bottom part there. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do ribbon. I'm going to do some linen thread. Type into the comments, silver or white? Let me know. That's okay. I've only just started. When Anne's saying sorry, she's late. How's the garden going, Lynn? The garden is going very well. It's looking really different. All right, so we've got some linen thread on there. Okay, so I've got one, two, three silver, four silver, two white, three white. <laughs> First one to get to five. Up. Oh. Silver it is. Okay, silver it is. We're going to use silver. Okay, so we're going to pop that on there. We're then going to pop this one up onto some dimensionals. Now you can see there that I'm putting it above my um, linen thread there because I don't want it looking like it's not level. So because the linen thread's got a bit of bulkness to it, I just put my dimensionals just above the linen thread. Okay, so we have that and we have that. Okay. And we'll tie a cute little bow. Might do a double bow. You know me and thread. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is the memories and more um, 
this is just the memories and more cards, Shirley. Memories and more cards and memories and more envelopes. Cards and envelopes. These are really, really awesome, um, awesome ways of getting crafting and being able to do um, a bulk amount of crafting, you know, like getting some quick Christmas cards together. You would be able to make, I don't, well, I don't even, I, I'd hate to even guess how many cards you could make out of one of these. So we're going to do that. And then I thought um, I'm just trying to find some embellishments here. Yeah, just some basic rhinestones, I think, which I have some here. And I'm going to have to use my scissors because I don't know where the take your pick tool is. If Rhonda's on here. Do we know where we put the take your pick tool? <laughs> Most probably not. Oh, I need my take your pick tool. I really do. Actually, you know what I could do? I know what I could do because this is going to drive me mad not having my take your pick tool okay there we go so two really really quick easy cards using the memories and more cards and envelopes now with these pieces here too you could actually do a nice little edge across the top okay so just like that um, you could do maybe a little edge down along here that would give a little bit more oomph to your card. Even along here, we could do maybe a little edge just along here to make it look like icing. I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to do, I might actually do that and that. That looks cute. Okay, let's do that because we can. Just to add a little bit more, just to show you not to throw any of your pieces out. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that one along that top edge. This one here along the bottom edge. And we haven't even used the stamp set yet. Can you believe this? Haven't even used the stamp set yet. There. And I'm going to use that one there. like that that just adds a little bit more to your cards okay there you have it now with our stamp set we could bring our stamp set in so say now that we're a little bit more advanced and we want to add a little bit more to these cards we could use the stamp set and we could say um Wishing you a Merry Christmas, so we could do that one. Or sending you peppermint kisses or, <laughs> where are we? There. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Now, they also have, in this set, they also have this really nice decorative piece here. So, let's do a little bit of stamping here so I need that I need a scrap piece of paper and I actually need my pierce mat because it's photopolymer stamp so because it's photopolymer you need to definitely have um, your pierce mat underneath and I'm just going to grab my real red ink I'm going to smoosh it first because I haven't used this stamp before. So I'm going to smoosh it a couple of times and stamp so we can see. Yes, it's going to stamp really well. So I'm going to stamp that inside this card. 
so we can stamp there. Now, I also want to grab this piece here because I think this is really cute, this edge piece. And I need a big block to put it on. Please. Okay. So let's just move that out of the way. A big block to put it on. Now, I also need to smoosh this as well. I might actually do this one in crumb cake. Seeing as we did the sentiment in red, I probably should have done it the other way. I should, probably should have done this one in real red and the other one. So I'm going to smoosh it again. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's ink that up really well all the way along. Okay, let's bring in our card and I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to, sorry, I'm probably going to end up putting my head in the picture here, but I'm just going to do that. And look at that. And I just smudged up here. But that's okay. We could do. <laughs> Seeing I smudged up there, let's get another stamp and we'll smoosh that one. This is how you cover up some smudged bits. Okay. I put a big smudge up here because I had ink on my fingers. And look at that. No more smudge. No one would know. And I might pop some down in here. So you can see a super, super quick, easy card using um, the beautiful Frosted Gingerbread stamp set and our Memories and More cards. All right, so let's move on and let's do, okay, we've advanced now. So we're not beginners anymore. We're getting more into the casual crafting side of things. So we've decided that we are going to buy some cardstock. We're going to cut some layers and we're now going to create some gorgeous cards. All right, so let's get our card bases out. So I have real red, I have um, basic white, and I have crumb cake as my colour scheme. And I think I'm going to do a crumb cake card with a real red layer. So I'm just winging this. A crumb cake card with a real red layer. And... A whisper white layer on there okay and I'm gonna take some of the dies and see what we have oh where did my dies go up here okay so let's see what dies we have and see what we can do here Ooh. okay I might just do a bauble on this one Okay, so I'm just going to do a bauble and I'm going to do maybe, um, I need some cardstock. Okay, let's grab my real red. I thought I was all organised. That. Okay, so I'm thinking a real red bauble. And maybe some wisp of white, like some frosting on it. So we'll grab a bit of white. There. Okay.
So I'm just going to run that through the cut and emboss and we might just bring in the little mini for that. that one and that one we'll do a red as the base of my bauble okay that one and I might even do I'll do this a couple of things here I'll do the detailed bit in red as well and we'll do it the other way with the white and we'll see which one we like the best okay so Mel Mel's saying um, about cutting the decorator bit for the ease of videos I just do extra bits um, if you wanted to conserve bits of cardstock and paper, then by all means, yes, you could cut it out of the inserts, but when you're doing videos, it's easier just to cut them out, out of scrap. Oh, okay, no, and now I do understand what you're saying. Um, she's saying that why didn't I just cut the bauble part out and you would have seen the red come through underneath. We could do that as well. I'm just playing, so that's a great idea. We could try. Okay. So, now, one of the things with these is if you didn't throw away all of your pieces that come out when you cut it, you could actually pattern piece as well if you wanted to do that. So you could actually take the red out of this piece. Are you ready for it? And pop it back into the white piece. Can you see that? So you could definitely, um, hey, Rose, how are you going? You could definitely pattern piece if that's what you wanted to do. So keep all your bits and you would be able to do some multicolored, um, beautiful ornaments like that. I think what I'm actually going to do though is, just for the sake of the ease of the video this morning, we might just pop all the pieces out and then put that onto there look at that isn't that just stunning <laughs> i miss you too rose <laughs> sooner or later i don't think we're going to see each other next year either but anyway the way we seem to be going here in australia i don't think we're going to be getting out anytime soon but as long as we all stay safe Okay, so we've got that one and we've got that one. So I'm thinking they're pretty cute. Look at that. That and that. Okay. All right, so I'm actually going to do a little bit of, with our stencils, I thought I might do a little bit of shading in behind. So we could do, oh, we could do that. Okay, so let's try that. So you can use these stencils many different ways. So I'm going to actually do this. I might do it straight. Oh, some of my stencils not popped out. So 
So make sure when you're using your stencil for the first time, make sure you have all your little pieces popped out. Got a couple of pieces there that weren't popped out when it got cut. I might have to use my scissors on that little bit. Look at that. Okay, done. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm actually just going to grab um, one of my blending brushes and I'm just going to grab my real red and have you seen these? I have these. These are new. Look at these. Aren't they cute? They are super, super cute. I bought them for to hold my blending brushes and the glue fits down inside. They are super cute. Um, please personal message me and I will um, pop you on to the lady that actually her husband is making them. One of my team members um, popped it up on Facebook and I would be happy to put point you in the right direction. All right, where's my real red ink? I had it out before. There it is. Actually, no, I'm going to do crumb cake in behind. Okay, so I'm just going to take my crumb cake ink. I'm just going to ink it up with my brush, my blending brush, and I'm just going to blend over the top. Now, this is going to give us a gorgeous background, which is super fun to have these gorgeous backgrounds on our cards. And I don't really care if it's not neat all the way over, if it's light in patches and dark in other, but are you ready for it? Look at that. How cute is that? Okay, so then if we layer that onto here, so we've got a gorgeous patterned piece of um, paper here. So I'll just grab my glue and glue that on. I'm feeling like I like the red ornament with the white. I feel like the white on that, it may stand out this time. Yeah, the white sort of disappears, I think. So I think we might have to cut out another red one and another, oh, yeah, another red one and another white overlay. Okay, so let's cut out another one. Let's bring in that cut and emboss again. So we'll cut out another red base and another white over. Silver would be nice, Shirley, yes. I don't have any silver on hand at the moment, but, yeah, it would be nice, definitely. Okay, so let's do the red one. And a white overlay. This one here. That one. Okay. These dies are beautiful. Oh, coming out there and that that little piece there. Okay, so we can keep those bits and pieces. As I said, we can um, always do another one at another time. All right, so I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. 
Now, I think I'm actually going to do a little thing with some twine here. So I've got some twine. I'm actually going to pop a little bit of my Seal Plus in under here. I'm going to pop my twine into the Seal Plus and stick it down. And I'm going to wrap it around here. So just like so. And cut it off. Okay, and then I'm going to be able to sit that one like that. Okay, so this one here, I'm going to pop it down further. So I'm going to do it down here. Pop the twine in like that. Do a little bit of seal plus there. Okay, so we've got that. Now, look at that. There's a putty end. Let's let's put me out of my misery. <laughs> I just found a putty end for my take your pick tool. <laughs> so I'll be right now. Putty to come out. When it wants to come out, there it comes. Can you see the putty coming out the end? So you turn it, the putty comes out. When it starts to come out, Oh, then you loosen it off. Okay, and then you've got your putty tip end ready to go. Oh, Jackie, yeah, I honestly, it's like right in front of me. And there's enough space on my desk to be able to use the die cutting machine in the video. And I mean, it, it also allows people to see exactly how you do it. And I actually, um, <laughs> wow, I really, like the cleanup of my desk, oh, there it is. I was going to say it didn't help me, but there it is. Okay, so I need my sponge and my glue and my silicon mat, which is over here. Okay, and we'll glue some of these fine bits on. Okay, so this is the silicon mat trick. Bit of glue on the corner. A sponge just in an office clip. Spread your glue out. Pop your die cut on and sponge some glue over the back. And you are good to go to glue it down. Just like that. And you don't get glue everywhere and you can stick it down easy as okay so let's do this one i might even be able to use that white one we'll see i might be able to use it as one popped up in the middle maybe pop that onto here okay so glued on like that Okay, I might glue the red one on. I don't know whether I'm going to use it or not, but we'll we'll have it glued on, ready to go. We could use it on a different project. Like that. And pop it onto the white one. But this is a great way of doing the intricate, um, hey Jordan, doing the um, intricate 
stamping, um, sorry, gluing onto your cardstock instead of getting glue everywhere, just as long as you pop that somewhere where you're not going to sit everything into it. All right, so then I'm actually going to pop them like that up on there and we'll tie a little bow. So we've got some ornaments hanging. So we're going to pop those up onto dimensionals as well. Hey Nina, how are you going? Thanks for joining. So I have that one there, that one, <laughs> Shirley's saying, oh my God, I'm so happy I have this set coming. Was that what you did in your order yesterday, Shirley? I knew you wanted this set. Thanks, Cindy. Kathleen's saying she really likes the dies. I know, they are super cute. Okay, so we're going to put it onto a crumb cake base. So we have that and that. Okay, I want to pop... Um, oh, do I have some more linen thread? I did have some right here. This is not quite the same linen thread, but it will do. We'll do a double bow. Angie's saying that the intricate dies will look fabulous in the gold vellum. Yes, we do have gold vellum, gold shimmer vellum. I have some of that somewhere. I'm just going to do a little bow here. And there. And another one on the other one. Cute as a button. All right, so we'll use some glue dots to glue those little bows on. That one there needs to be a bit littler. One there and one there. Okay, now um, I'm going to do wishing you a Merry Christmas. Now, don't go mad on me when you see me using these punches. That one. Oops. Uh, where's the other one? Oh. I think it'll fit in there just we will see okay so let's stamp wishing you a merry christmas in real red and my pierce mat because it's photopolymer 
one there. And I'm just going to use the one and three quarter inch punch. I think it will punch it out. I think it will be just the right size yet. That one. And I think I'm going to do, um, which I could have done in the real red layer, but I'll do that on this real red layer, this one here. Um, someone tell me which punch this is. I think it's called the Lovely Label Punch. I think that's what it was called. And we'll pop that one onto there. Beautiful. Okay, so even with this little mask, we could do a cute little pattern just down there. We could do that. Okay, let's do that with some crumb cake. Just to put a little pattern on our sentiment layer there. Just like that. Look at that. Cute little pattern. All right, so let's pop that up onto dimensionals. And I think I'm going to pop a cute little um, embellishment on there as well. Or we could even with, um, I'll pop that in there. We could even with one of these. What do we got? Or maybe not. That there's cute. Oh, look at that. I'm into using all these pieces this morning. That looks cute. Look at that. Okay. So this is how you can use these pieces, people. There's so many things that you can do. So let's get that glue again. I'll pop a bit of Tombow on there again. Please close my ink pad. <laughs> I've got one here and one here. <laughs> do you think I'm going to do some damage? Need that bit. I'll close my ink pad so that you so that you don't have a fit. <laughs> there we go. They're closed. I'm trying to get that over the other way. Let's pick it up. That way we want it. Thank you. Okay, so a bit of glue on that. And we'll stick that just on here like this. Being very adventurous this morning. Cute little edge. Cute. Okay, and then I think I want to put a cute little embellishment from here now that i've got my take a pick tool sorted oh i want to put one of them one of them and the take your pick tool is not going to pick it up yes it is yes one of them just there look at that all right we need a glue dot for that little baby there And we'll pop him there. Very cute. Okay. And that's going to go on the front there like that. And we're just going to glue that down because I've got the baubles popped up. I'm just going to pop that one down flat onto there. Okay. Now we'll pop that up I think onto dimensionals all right so please feel free to share the video back onto your social media sites so that your friends may get 
a bit of time crafting with us and enjoying seeing our awesome Stampin' Up! products get used. Now, these items, as I said, are available on the 3rd of August, so they're not available just yet. They are available to us as demonstrators. You can join my team today and you can purchase these items in your starter kit. Um, the actual gingerbread and peppermint sweet is um, $250 worth. It is a, a massive sweet. You get memories and more cards. You get the gorgeous... Um, stamps and dies you get the little parcel dies there's so much in this suite it is stunning okay so i'm going to pop that up onto the front of my card right there and if i knew where my there they are little rhinestones went we'll pop a few little rhinestones around i'm thinking i could pop some rhinestones in here look at this How cute is that? So, Shirley, am I giving you some ideas of what you can do with this awesome suite now? Okay, we'll pop a few up in that one up there as well. So I'm just doing every second one so that you're still seeing the red come through. Oh, sorry. My head was in the camera then. <laughs> I was getting a little bit eager <laughs> doing my decorating there. Yes, I know. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So we'll stamp an insert for that because I've got my inserts here. So let's grab an insert. And I think for the insert, I might just do, because we have the bauble stamp here as well, so I think what I'm actually going to do is I might use the bauble stamp and stamp off and then do a gorgeous sentiment over the top. So let's get that. Let's get our scrap paper we had, which is here, our pierce mat. Okay, so I'm going to ink that up with my crumb cake ink. And I'm going to smoosh it down because it hasn't been used. Very good. All right. So I'm going to, yes, I'm going to stamp that off and then stamp it on. So this is a way of using your stamps. So I'm going to stamp it off and then I'm going to stamp it on without re-inking. So I'm going to get that bauble shape. Now, wishing you a Merry Christmas. What else have we got? Um, sending you peppermint kisses, I think sounds good. Let's do that. Sending you peppermint kisses. Okay, I'm going to do that in our real red ink. No worries, Sue. Okay, so I'm going to smoosh that one off too because it hasn't been used. And then we will pop that just over that. Look at that. How cute is that? Okay. And I could even put, do I want to put the bauble? No. We don't. <laughs> that was a very quick answer to my question, wasn't it? Do we want to put the ball up? No, we don't. Okay, so I'll pop that on the insert. Okay, there we have it. So there's another card using that awesome suite. So card number three. All right, now let's actually get into, I want to do something with the mask and some embossing paste. So I've got a couple of different layers here. 
And I'm thinking I've got, what have I got? I've got white. Oh, I'm going to cut one of these and make a real red layer. So I've got white there. I'm going to cut, we've got one of these and I'm going to cut one of these. So we've got a red layer, we've got a crumb cake layer as well, and I'm just going to cut that crumb cake layer down so it'll be the right size. Okay, so we've got three layers there, and we're going to play around a little bit with um, some of this embossing paste that I have. So I've got the shimmery shimmery white embossing paste so the first thing i want to do is we've got some gorgeous snowflakes here so i actually want to do some gorgeous snowflakes on this card okay so what you need to have is a container with warm soapy water that you have sitting beside you. So I have a container here. I've already got one of my palettes in. So I've got a container of warm soapy water and I've got that sitting just over on my desk so that when we use our um, embossing paste that we're able to soak everything because the embossing paste dries hard and it dries hard very quickly. Okay, so because it dries hard very quickly, we definitely don't want it to stay on our um, on our stencils. Um, now, we also have to make sure that we keep this sealed really well. So you can see here, I've still got all of my um, my foil on here, but I've got some paste here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig some paste out and I'm just going to pop that on here like this now i do actually just want to have a bit of a um how can i say it i don't want it all over i just want it a little bit for the background of my card okay so that's as easy as it is and scrape off the excess and pop it back into your container like so and pop the lid on always make sure that um, you're popping the lid on and making sure that you are um, washing all your utensils as quick as you can because it will dry really quick okay so then I'm going to peel that off and look at that we have some gorgeous snowflakes on our background okay so um this is super fun to be able to do and then we can create a card with that in our background so now what i want to do is i want to do something on the crumb cake now so we have some other ones here so this is the one that looks like icing so we could create a look like we've got some icing on there so I'm going to do the same thing again I'm just going to grab my palette knife out of in here okay and I'm going to grab some more again now with this one I actually think I need to put a bit of paper under here because with this one I'm actually going to do the whole entire sheet so I want to protect my surface a little bit. So I'm just going to pop down a scrap piece of paper. Now, you can actually, if you wanted to, you can actually take this down if you're not confident <clears throat> that you're not going to move it. You can actually tape it down with a bit of pa painter's tape if you wanted to. I'm okay about doing it because for the video, I'm just going to do it really quickly anyway. So... What we're going to do here is, I'm going to do the same thing again. 
we're going to pop a bit down and then scrape it all over. Making sure that you cover the whole lot. Okay. Now, this is the shimmery white. So this, this gives you that real pearlescent um, glittery shimmer, which is really, really cute. So I've done that. I'm then going to put the excess back in here again and pop my little tool over into the water. And I'm going to pop my lid back on. And then we're going to peel this off again. If I can lift up the corner, let me grab the corner here. And we're just going to peel it off. Like that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Okay, I'm going to soak that in my dish as well. <laughs> Kathleen, you weren't going to get this sweet, but I'm changing your mind. There is so much in this sweet. So one of the main things is, now we've got to pop that aside to dry it. Just run your finger down the edge. Trying not to stick your finger in it. Run your finger down the edge so that you've got any hanging over pieces that may be on it. Whoa. And don't drop it like that. Okay, so just running your fingers down the edge and then sitting it aside to let it dry. Okay, so there's that. Now, there's one more thing. I need to get another piece of paper. There's one more thing that I want to show you, which I think is really, really nice using this. Um, and which one do I want to use? I think I want to use this one. Okay. So I want to show you something that is really super fun that you can do as well. And I need a piece of paper, scrap piece of paper. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pile up a bit of the embossing paste up the top. And I need to grab, I've got some other utensils here. So I'm going to pile up some embossing paste up the top. And I'm going to do a little bit of thing with re-inkers. I need a towel would be good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to grab, I've got this big long spatula there, so I'm going to grab that one. All right, and I'm going to do some couple of different colours here just to give you a little bit of an idea of what we can do with these. So I'm going to grab quite a lot of embossing paste. And I'm just going to pile a bit on the top here. Okay, so just like that. Okay, so we've got a big pile all across the top. Now, what I want to do is I need to pop some of that all back in. I'm then going to pop my lid on there. I'm going to grab some re-inkers. So I'm going to grab, I'm thinking Magenta Madness. Um, Highland Heather. 
some maybe some coastal cabana and maybe some so saffron okay so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just pop a little bit of re inker there. I'm hoping this is going to work. I may have bitten off more than I can chew. A little bit of re inker there. So that's a Highland Heather. We've got some Coastal Cabana. We've got some. So saffron and I might go back in with a bit of magenta again and a little bit of coastal cabana no Highland Heather ah get it right Highland Heather Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to swipe it down. We're just going to go. Like that. And once again, swipe it down. Like that. And that last final bit, swipe it down. Okay. Now, don't waste what you've got left over there. We're going to do a couple of fun things with that. Are you ready for the reveal? <laughs> I know it's pretty crazy, but are you ready for it? Look at what we have. Isn't that just amazing? All right. So we can do a couple of different colors and you can get a gorgeous look like that. Okay. I may have put a little bit too much magenta madness there. But now with our leftover pieces, this is what the fun part is. Grab this. And swipe it over and you're going to have another gorgeous background, okay? I'm getting pieces everywhere. I'll pop them over onto the table. So we've got that one. We can then do another piece here. We've got this colour here, which we can go... like that and we've got another gorgeous background again that we can use <laughs> it is messy but you're getting some great backgrounds here okay and i've got another piece here so this up here we could This would be great for doing some kids' cards. Okay. So there you have some awesome backgrounds like that. All right. So some of the cards, some of the backgrounds that we've got, I'm just going to put that messy bit away. Now, I've definitely got my lid on um, on everything. I've got my utensils in the water. I've got the lid on that. So I'm good to go. So I'm just going to leave those aside um, to dry. Now, it doesn't take long for things to dry. So this one here is nearly touch dry. Okay, so that's the first one that we did. Nearly touch dry. So, I mean, it's probably been five or ten minutes and already um, we could actually touch it, okay? This one here, let me feel. 
yep it's a little bit still a little bit um sticky but it's looking really good so let's pop these reinkers back so that we don't get out of control here pop them back up in there okay so let's create a cute card here with this one all right so with the snowflake i feel like it's practical to do the um snowflake die that we have here okay Oop. so we've got that one all right so let's do um i'm thinking probably do i have any foil here i don't think i do oh okay we could do this now this is one of the beautiful um it's the be dazzling six by six designer series paper you can earn this next month for free um when you do a 90 dollar order um okay i'm trying to see um what was the question for donna baker <laughs> yeah technique you'd have to do without a cat correct all right so i think i want to do let's do some um i want to do red i think so we've got some real red here so let's cut out some red I want to do a red snowflake with this one over the top okay so let's gra grab a mini cut and emboss we'll cut out the red snowflake Turn the cat upside down and do a swipe technique. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do a few of these. Maybe three. That's two and a third one. Three red snowflakes. Let's do. Now I'm hoping this one's going to cut through because this is um, pretty tough stuff to cut. I might need a piece of washi tape to hold it in place and turn it upside down. So this is what I do when I've got intricate die cuts that i'm not quite sure whether it's going to cut through really well i turn them upside oops and it moved i even put washi tape on and all but my washi tape ah. try again okay washi tape on i might need a new bit of washi tape i do and I've got it right here so I can get some more okay so just any washi tape you have I've just got some leftover bits because sadly we don't sell it anymore okay so washi tape or painters tape whatever whatever you have that will hold it in place and then I'm going to turn it over and cut it out
And this way you can see whether it's cut out properly as well. Okay, so you can see there it's cut out pretty well. So let's take that one off. Gorgeous. Okay, let's go again. Make sure you've got all the bits out of your um, out of your die. Okay, let's go again. So we need three of these. So we'll pop that one on there, turn it over, and cut it out. Okay, so just as I said, when you go to take it off, make sure you can see that it's all cut out, which that one is. That one. We'll do one more. Um, that one there. Need a washi tape again. Hey Matthew, how are you going? All right, so we've got that. So we've got our three gorgeous glimmery snowflakes cut out. We'll pop that aside. Pop that one out. How cute are they? Okay, so just poking out the little bits. One there. Okay, that one and the last one. Okay, so I think what I'm actually going to do is, do I want to do it like that or do I want to do it like that? Tell me how you think it should sit. Do you want to have it that it sits um, alternating like that one or that we sit it exactly the way it should be that way? Tell me which one you like. Um, yes, this is the freebie pack. Uh, this is the, the free, um, free with a $90 order. It's called the Be Dazzling paper. It's gorgeous. Um, Nina's saying alternate. Do we alternate or do we have it the way it should be? Do both. <laughs> Shirley's saying the way it goes. Alternating is cute. I'm thinking I might do one alternating and two sitting the right way. What do you think? Look at that because it makes it look different. Cindy saying, have it the way it should be. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to actually do it on this one. And we might do a real red layer in behind. 
and do it on a white base. What do you think? A white base. All right, and then this, I was going to use this, but I think red on red is too much. Should we do crumb cake? <laughs> now I'm like, oh, what do I want to do? Okay, let's try this. I'm just going to cut some of these out. So tell me whether you want the crumb cake base or the real red base. I'm just going to cut these out off camera while you tell me, do we want real red stars, uh, snowflakes behind, or do we want crumb cake ones? I'll cut out a set of crumb cake so you can see what you think. Or could we do this? Are you ready for this? What about if we do this and this and this? What do you think? And then we can put them on this. Or do we want to put them on this? Do we want to do them the other way and put them on that? That, and that, on that. I'm liking this. <sighs> that looks cute, doesn't it? And even if we straddled it different like that. Very cute. Or I could cut that down and have it. Oh, I've decided something else. I'm going to cut this down a bit. Let's go like that. I decided on something different. I decided to do this. That way I get the best of both worlds. <laughs> oh, I like that. What about if we did that? That. And that. And then one of them. One of them like this on top. Yes. Okay. Now I've got it. It's coming together. Okay. I think it's coming together. That. And I want, I think, a real red layer in behind that, like that. Okay, so let's do this bit first. Like that.
Okay, that. And then I think that looks really cute like that. And I'm going to do I think I'm going to do these the way they're supposed to be on this. So like that. And same with the other one. And then for the multi-layered one, we might alternate everything. Um, Jenny, it, I mean, I did this only like, I don't know, 15 minutes ago. So it doesn't take long to dry at all. Okay, so I'm going to do these a little bit 3D. So I'm going to do some dimensionals. Jenny, it's still going as far as I'm seeing. <laughs> um, so, Laurie, the snowflake set, is this is um, frosted gingerbread. It's the sweet that we're using and it's the snowflake out of the frosted gingerbread. Okay, so I'm just going to straddle that so it's going to alternate like so. So we're going to get a little bit of 3D dimension here. So I've got it popped up. And then I think I'm going to, even with this, I think I'm going to pop a little mini dimensional in behind that. in there and I've got a few pieces that need to get popped out there that one and that one okay and then this one I think will alternate as well does it alternate there yep like that look at that how cute is that one gorgeous Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap some of the um, gorgeous red ribbon around. Through underneath that. So I'm going to glue that one on there. So I'm just going to, with my seal plus, glue that one on. So like that. I'm going to pop my ribbon around okay so pop the ribbon through around about here there and there And I think with this, I'm just going to actually glue it down with my liquid combo because I've got um, quite a bit of dimension happening with the snowflakes and things. I'm just going to glue it straight down because you've got to think about the thickness of the card as well. So if you end up with way too many, um, way too much height, you'll end up having to pay a lot extra postage. You probably have to pay extra postage anyway with everything that's on this one. This is gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got this one here and this one here. And I feel like I'm going to pop that one up just there in the center. Okay, so these ones I'm going to just glue straight down. I'm actually going to use my 
seal plus, I think, to make them sit really well. So I've got that one there. This one here. Up there like that. This one here, I think I'm definitely going to pop up on dimensionals. Now, because we're gluing on to embossing as well, really make sure that um, you push these down really well. So like that. I'm then going to, of course, tie a bow because we can. And pop a bow on here. And I think what will be a little bit different as well, I just wonder whether this will work. Let's try this with my linen thread. We'll do a double bow and see if it looks all right sitting on top of it. Hey Doris, how are you going? All right, so I'm going to do this double bow and see if that looks any good sitting on top. Oh yeah, I like that. What do you think? All right, so I'm going to pop a bit of Seal Plus there for my red bow to sit into. And then I'm going to grab my glue dots and my linen thread bow. We will pop into some glue dots and we'll pop that just on top there like that. And we have a cute double bow look. Okay. All right. And I think probably some of those, um, oh, do I want to use some of them? I actually think the little dots out of here would be quite nice just to add a little bit to the card. So let's try that with the, um, we've got some, we'll tip them out. We've got some little white dots. We may as well tip them all out here. These dots, let's pick, can I pick one of them up? Yep. Stick it into a glue dot and stick it on there. There's another one there. Let's pick it up, stick it into a glue dot. And pop it on there. And do we have one more? There's one more in there. And I do think I could probably add um, some more of my, yeah, a bit more bling just to finish it off. Uh, where? There. There. And maybe up there. How cute is that? <laughs> so, as you can see, this is a super cute, fun set. So let's bring in the cards that we did. 
I'll pick up these first so I don't lose all of those everywhere. Put them back into my container. Okay, so we've done this one here with the gorgeous snowflakes. We've done this one here with um, the super cute um, baubles. And we did these two here with our fun, um, let me see, how can I fit these in? We'll go like that and like that. So as you can see, some really, really cute cards using this beautiful set. So if you absolutely love this and you do not want to wait until the 3rd of August, then by all means, you can join my team um, and you can pop, pop, pop any of um, the products in your starter kit. You can choose $235 worth of product and only pay $169 or... You can wait until uh, next month and you can get the awesome starter kit special where you get to choose an extra free bundle. So that free bundle will be a stamp set and a die set or a stamp set and a punch. Um, and it will be um, it will be a great bargain if that's what you want to do. But if you want to join right now and you want to get your hands on it, I would love to chat with you. If you have any other questions about anything that I've done today, um, you can purchase these products, as I said, on the 3rd of August. Um, if you were wanting to ask me any questions about joining Stampin' Up! and becoming a discount shopper and enjoying a discount on your products, by all means, please feel free. Um, as you can see down on the bottom um, corner of the video there is my phone number. So please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I would absolutely love to earn your business. If you don't have a demonstrator, you're not working with a demonstrator at the moment in Australia, I would love to um, send you out a copy of the brand new catalogs. So we have the awesome, um, this one here, our mini catalog that is going live on the 3rd of August. Um, we can purchase as demonstrators, we can purchase right now. And we will also have the celebration catalog, which um, I did have one here, but ah, Lord knows where it's gone. Um, so thank you very much for spending a bit of time with me this morning. I absolutely love crafting with you. Um, I will be back again, same time, same place next Saturday, hopefully all going well. I am having an operation done next week. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to move my arms and craft. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to pull up after it, but we will see. Um, and um, I want you to all have a lovely weekend. And as I said, if you wanted to purchase any of the items that I have used, uh, you have to wait until the 3rd of August. Um, if you want to purchase any other items, you can shop online with me at any time. This is my website. Anything that I do is over there on my website. If you want to sign up for any of my monthly stamps club or sign up for my Christmas craft retreat, um, by all means, I actually am going to do, if you're local and you live in the area, I am going to do an awesome class that I did at a retreat when I was away on the weekend. And I've actually sourced out all of the products and things and I'm actually going to do a Christmas wreath. I'll actually, I'll put the desk down. I'll just go and grab my Christmas wreath and show you what I did. Um, so just look at my cards again and I'll just grab that wreath and bring it in and tell you how I'm going to do a class with it. I just went inside to grab it and it wasn't inside, it was actually um, out here in my craft room the whole time. So hopefully some of you are still on here um, and you're waiting to see this gorgeous wreath that I did. So 
it's like this and you turn some lights on it's a bit hard with the glare but you can see I created this gorgeous wreath it was so much fun doing this hang on and I pop it down onto my desk and see if you can see it a bit better that way Gorgeous. It's got fairy lights in it. It's absolutely stunning. If you are interested in doing this class, now I can do an online version of it or I can do an in person version. If I'm doing an online version of it, to get everything posted out to you, you would have to pay an extra $20 postage on top of the class price to be able to get all of your products sent out to you. But by all means, I would love to do that. Um, I will be holding this class probably around um, October or if not sooner if I get more interest sooner I would be happy to hold it sooner we could we could hold it in August if you wanted to but it's absolutely stunning it's going to cost $75 to do the class that includes your shadow box frame it also includes um, your sprig punch to be able to punch out all of these little leaves. It includes uh, the fairy lights, it includes your poinsettia and um, poinsettia and all of um, your embellishments to be able to create it. So if you're interested in doing a class like that, please by all means reach out to me and I would be happy to um, help you out and sign you up for it. So um, it is absolutely a gorgeous home decor project so i will be doing it at my two-day craft retreat so it is an optional class at my two-day craft retreat but i will be holding a separate class um going um going on outside of my retreat time so if you wanted to be able to create a gorgeous wreath like this um please let me know and i will um give you dates times and dates and details of when you can sign up so if you're in the northern rivers area by all means if you're um depending on whether the board is opened or not um is whether you can travel from queensland from brisbane to come down and do it it will take it will be a good probably three hour class to be able to do it it takes you a little um while um and it is a super super awesome project so that will be coming up soon so make sure you check out my website um will i have a pdf for those in the us i could i could judy i could probably maybe even do a video um showing you how to put them together um yeah for a price so um i that will be food for thought judy um yeah okay so um i will let you know the leaves are all cut out of cardstock yes the leaves are cut out of different colored cardstock it is a, it's a great project absolutely i fell in love with it um okay all right so everybody have a great weekend and i will catch you all next time bye